1998 katika jumba la ubalozi la Marekani jijini Nairobi bado wanasubiri fidia yao miaka 25 baada ya tukio hilo baadhi wamesimulia jinsi maisha yao yalivyochukua mkondo mpya kufuatia mkasa huo wathiriwa wametoa simulizi hii mbele ya kikao maalum cha seneti kilichobuniwa kuangazia fidia kutoka kwa serikali ya Marekani Ijumaa ya tarehe 7 Agosti mwaka 1998 ni siku ambayo katu haitasahaulika haswa na waathiri wa hawa washambulizi la kigaidi katika jumba la ubalozi la Marekani hapa jijini Nairobi. Ni tukio ambalo limewaacha wengi wakiwa wajani, mayatima na hata wale mavu huku hisia wanazofahamu zikiwa za uchungu na majonzi pekee. Then I saw a man run from the scene of the shooting towards the car where I was just at the intersection between the Moy Avenue and Halflasie and that's when the huge blast went and from that day I have never witnessed light of day again I became blind after all people were taken out I managed to get my husband dead in the city mortuary this point here I lost three teeth because and they said if I talked you could see through here the eyes were affected the eardrum burst everything went dark for me i started telling them you know what my husband works there so i wasn't able to do anything else my picture which even if i saw it madam i can cry because of this kind of the thing which happened in 1998 Manusura na waathiriwa wamefika mbele ya kamati maalum ya seneti inayopania kuwatetea kupokea fidia huku wakieleza masaibu wanayopitia kupata haki kwa miaka 25 sasa. People who are talking about having glasses in their bodies surely 25 years on can you imagine? Before or the time running to the attack the government had sufficient information and intelligence of an attack that was likely to happen. Shambulizi hilo lililotekelezwa na kundi la Al-Qaeda lilisababisha vifo 224. Elizabeth Atieno, TV47, Nairobi.